Hello, my beautiful Tauruses. Welcome to your monthly horoscope forecast for September. Wow, we're in September already. All right, so we're going to be covering love, current finance, and what you need to know spiritually that you don't know that you need to know that could help you with your situation. If you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. Also, if you guys are interested in taking my tarot course, I'm going to bring out some more courses, guys. What do you want to learn? I can do numerology. Um, I know a lot of different, I know a lot of different things. I've been studying for many, many years. So just let me know what course you would like to learn about. I think somebody did ask that they wanted to learn about astrology. So if you're interested in learning about astrology, let me know and I will work on that for you guys. Okay. So my beautiful darlings, we're going to be first covering love, then career and finance, and then what you need to know spiritually that you don't know that you need to know could help with your situation. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. All right, so first love here. So let's find out. What's gonna have my Taurus's romantic love life for the month of September? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see all right what's the first card out here what's this going on this month yo aries also had the hangman coming out at the beginning of the month here what the heck what is going on with astrology at the beginning of the month here in september okay well, we're gonna find out Someone feels stuck in the middle of a situation. It's like, and you can see there's like a lot of people around this. So it's like, <sighs> uh, all right. So the bottom of the deck, there's this person who feels like a lot of self-doubt. All right. So let's see more information. What the heck is this about? Ooh, Knight of Swords is coming out, Taurus. So what is the Knight of Swords in the practical sense? Let's just talk about it, okay? Knight of Swords in the practical sense is saying... Uh, you know how like somebody says something like crappy to you and it's like you just react you don't think about it you just react okay so the Knight of Swords is coming out it looks like there's gonna be a reactionary energy okay where is like the Knight of Wands would be more of like fun adventurous like ooh, spur of the moment kind of energy like it's more like a kind of like a more of an upbeat or passionate kind of energy the Knight of Swords is more like a harsh or kind of energy all right so all right so and I, I feel like this energy the, the the irritation I feel is coming because of this hangman being next to it okay so what's gonna have my Taurus's romantic love life for the month of September show me cards you need to see show me the cards I need to see okay all right Taurus let's see why is this hangman here? Okay, so someone is giving some advice or there's some counseling going on to help with this stuck energy. Okay, so this energy is happening, this, this really gut reaction action there is gonna happen because of sadness. Someone feels really sad about this advice. Okay, um, What's gonna have my Taurus's romantic love life for the month of September? Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay. Let's see here. Yep. Keys, another hangman. Okay, hangman again. And then there's the criticism. This criticism, which is going to make somebody have a gut reaction towards the sad energy. All right, so there could be involving a Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy here. But the thing about it is coming out as the king of, of pentacles. The king of pentacles is basically saying to you, Taurus, that you are the best decision for me. Someone sees you as their main person, but they see you as their person of like long term. Like they don't want to go anywhere. Yeah, see, there you go. See, there's a main person card coming out. I want to be with you. I don't want to go anywhere. That kind of energy. Wow, three main people cards. Even though all this stuck energy, the stagnation here. Well, you know, a lot of times in this universe, that what happens is when you get into stuck, stagnant energy, it's like once things kind of work out, and it's like, all right, let's clear the air now. So there's an, a, a real sudden decision, a 
very sudden decision and a criticism happening here and someone who feels sad and is like, no, you're my main person. So we see there's a defending of a, a position here against these other people. When it comes to a fresh start, new opportunity, or having or starting a family. We see this house and home situation. Someone's very desperate to hold on to you, Taurus. They don't want to let you go. You know, it's interesting because this person's in quicksand, right? And it seems like instead of struggling, this person's like, okay, I'm, I just, I just want to hold on to you. I don't, I don't, I, I don't, I don't want to go anywhere. I just want to hold on to you. And there is this message you've been waiting for about this. Okay. So you got opportunities and you got offers here. By the middle of the month, you're aware of you got some opportunities and some offers here. And one in particular is pretty solid here. Um, so let's keep going here. Yep, you're juggling a decision here to a pentacles energy. Heavy decision too. It's not like it's a wands kind of thing. It's like, no, this is long-term juggling here. Like, hmm, who do I want to be with? Hmm, who do I want to be with? So you're trying to be smart about this with the cat card energy, thinking with your head, trying to be logical about this situation. Hmm, because you know you're gonna have to pick somebody. Hmm, someone definitely doesn't want to lose you. So far, what do we got here? We see there's this stagnation and someone really criticizes the stagnation. And we see this main person is like, okay, look, it's like, I want to give you the keys to my house and home because I don't want to lose out on this situation. Someone's giving you the keys to their house or home. Okay. Um, or it's just showing that there's this stable situation here and then offer being presented. You have the key to your success because somebody really doesn't want to lose out on this situation, Taurus. Okay, so let's keep going. So there's communication here, eight of wands energy. What is going on this month? So this is a person you've known before. So I'm not saying this is an ex, but this is definitely someone you know from before. There's this communication coming in from somebody from before. And it's coming in fast too. This is a person that you deeply love. So there's communication coming in from a deep love connection here towards the end of the month. There's something secret going on here with the High Priestess card energy or this spiritual connection with this person. You really feel like you have some kind of knowledge or understanding of this by the end of the month. This could be the person that you feel like you want to be with, okay? This is the one that has your heart that you want this relationship with or there's a relationship around this situation. Hmm, okay. Let's keep going here, Taurus. Final card, oh my goodness, Taurus, look at this. The final card is luck, blessings. You hit the jackpot, you know, this is, this is, the, this is my casino card. <laughs> yeah, no, no, seriously, the Wheel of Fortune's like my casino card, like ding, 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 ding. You know, hit the, like the, the slot machine, ding, 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 ding. All right, so you hit the jackpot. Slot machine, casino card at the end of the month here. What's this about? Yep, you're receiving some kind of positive turn of events. And <laughs> literally looks like you're hitting the casino card now. Look at this. You are getting an abundance of uh, love here, guys. You hit the jackpot. You're the jackpot reading this month. The casino jackpot and love. Okay, so this is going to be good. Okay, so... Get ready for this month. All right, so first it starts off very stuck, stagnant. Um, just like you're just like, ah. Uh, and then we have this house and home situation and we have this love and we see this criticism, but then we see this opportunity, this offer for relationship. You're my main person. I don't want to lose you. Jackpot winnings. Okay. So it's saying that balls in your court, jackpot for you. Okay, so going down a little bit further here, 
overcoming obstacles or blockages in a situation. Yes, you guys are looking very attractive with the Empress card energy. There's someone who's very regretful, feels bad about this situation. This is somebody from before. They want to re reminisce and they want a renewal of this past situation. You're a little bit cautious of this. They want to speak their truth to you with the King of Swords energy and they're giving you their heart. Ace of Cups energy. Now you know why you're the jackpot. <laughs> Okay, so they're offering love, relationships, jackpot winning for love here coming up. All right, let's move this out of the way so we can get you guys some advice. It also looks like you may be dealing with a new person here. All right, um, with the child card energy. So stuck in the middle of a situation, needed to defend a position when it comes to communication. Someone decides to make an abrupt decision i want to hold on to you we see the spiritual connection you're the best decision for me in the long term there was some juggling happening here a juggling of a schedule or a heavy decision needs to be made we see the timing aligns in your favor okay so let's get you guys some advice can i have advice from my tauruses when it comes to their romantic love life for the highest best good for the best possible outcome? For the month of September, show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, so with this situation, Taurus, you're going to have to step outside of your comfort zone. Don't let your pride get in the way, okay? Nope. Work through your fears here. What are you going to have to release? Who are you going to have to release, right, in order to make this decision? Confidence will be the key to your success. And what is again saying? which is why that also is my, my jackpot casino card. It is saying that luck is on your side. Yes, the wheel of fortune is here. So divine timing is at work. Divine timing is here and all things are moving in your favor. Okay, so you know how like sometimes it feels like in our romantic love life, we have this situation where we're just like, why? Why did it go that way instead of this way? Okay, now, okay, Taurus, it's going your way. It's going your way, okay? So this is going your way this time. The luck is on your side. The, the energy is in your favor. Uh, there's gonna be a, a twist of events here that's gonna go in your favor this time. Okay, so let's move into your career and finance. What's gonna have my Taurus's career and finance for the month of September? Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need. C. Okay, so let's find out. All right, so first card out. All right, we got the Three of Swords coming out. So you're definitely having some issues starting out the first half of the month with the Korean finance stuff. Okay, bottom of the deck, you're feeling defeated. Okay, but you get some kind of clarity. Okay, so even though you're dealing with this issue, you get some kind of clarity and it really makes you get, it gets you thinking about it. Okay, so what is this about? What's kind of my Taurus's career in finance for the month of September? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, Taurus, let's take a look. Okay, so there's somebody around this that's causing you some issues, okay? It could be a, a younger feminine. All right, so we got this, uh, the public, people, group of people, which gives you clarity. And you're soul searching about the situation when it comes to loyalty and devotion to this whole situation, okay. What's gonna have my Taurus's career in finance for the month of September? Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, and let's find out here. All right, so you got some offers, but someone who wants to, oh, and the universe literally, did you just hear that? The universe shut a door. So there's this concern that if you don't do something about this, that that opportunity is going to be closed to you. So there's some criticism about this. And you're like, well, I'm going in the right direction. I know this is destiny. So it's like you don't you want to you want to move past this situation because you're just like I don't want this opportunity to close to me because I know this is this is my destiny this is what I'm supposed to be doing. So but the middle of the month you guys are really happy with the sun card energy. 
and you got some thoughts and plans. Yeah, and things are going good, lucky. But then you get to a place, a little bit of stumbling block, stumbling block here. We have these rosy colored glasses, like, am I seeing things clearly? Is it what I think it is? You know, that kind of energy. But you are receiving some extra money or a bonus or a positive turn of events here. When it comes to walking away from a situation, you're getting things into balance and order. And we see, yes, again, a blessing. Good timing for you guys. Again, again you got the casino card coming out for you guys. And I see some, there's some kind of competition. There's somebody watching you, they're noticing you, and they're seeing what you're doing. Hmm, could be competition, okay? So someone is watching you. You get good news by the end of the month here, Page of Pentacles energy, and it helps fix the situation for you. It's something from before. So you are taking on more responsibility here by the end of the month with the Ten of Wands energy, and you're just like, oh God, I really regret this now. Um, because there's some kind of travel also around this situation. So by the end of the month, you guys are in a little defensive note, a uh, defensiveness about this house, this home, this real estate, okay, this building. You get some kind of communication, letter, message, document, paperwork. Let's see more information. So something comes up from before, Six of Cups energy. It really causes major changes here, Tower card. And you're looking at it like, oh God, I have to deal with this stuff now. And I don't, I'm, I'm feeling very indifferent about it. I don't wanna lose this opportunity to miss this. So you, you're like at a crossroads about what to do, but we do see someone's gonna help you with things. And you have to give it some time here for things to play out when it comes to this partnership, this collaboration here. When it comes to this house or home or real estate situation. So it's like you find something out about this house, home, real estate situation. You're just like, all right, something has to change here. All right, let's bring it together so far, and I'm going to get you guys some advice. Okay, so you're looking at your options. The timing is right. You're looking back to the past. There's some criticisms that you want to walk away from. Um, and there are some changes here to move into something that feels more destined to you. Uh, you are getting noticed. People are watching you, uh, but I feel like this is more like spying on what you're doing. And you get a letter, a message, document, paperwork, communication here. So we see this younger feminine energy and thoughts and plans about fixing the situation. So there's a group of people around this, could be a meeting, could be a collaboration, there could be the public, it could be you know the internet. Um, we see you're receiving something of value worth here, but there's some things you have to deal with from before. There is a situation that you're really loyal to, and it's like a really good divine timing. It's like it's meant to be, and there's something about this that deals with a house or home or real estate. So you have some issues here, but then you get the clarity, which gets you thinking about your happiness. There's some things that you're not seeing about the situation which you're able to fix. You do get some good news, but you do take some responsibility or, or take on more responsibility towards the end of the month, which makes you a little bit defensive. Okay, so let's get you guys some advice. All right. Can I advice my Tauruses when it comes to the career and finance for the highest, best, good, for the best of them? For the month of September, show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay. Give yourself some time alone, okay? You have a bountiful nature. You have to know what's safe for you to receive. So also decluttering. That's a really good, actually, um, a feng shui technique. It's like you're letting the universe know by getting rid of stuff that you're ready for new. So that's a really good technique also. And also it helps to free up the energy in your place. So go declutter. Throw some things out that you don't need anymore, right? Um, and it's saying that visualize abundance in all forms. 
So it would be a good time for you guys to just stay in that positive mindset that know everything is going to be okay, it's going to work out when it comes to this employment change. Okay, so it's going to be okay. It's going to work out. All right, so let me find out what you need to know spiritually that you don't know they need to know with you. Actually, let's use this deck. What does Taurus need to know spiritually that they don't know that they need to know to help them for the month of September? Show me cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, so we got this meditation card. So it would be a good time, guys, to try to get some meditation in. Now, we often hear the word meditation. We're just like, I don't know how to do meditation. I can't stop thinking, 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 thinking. Okay, so there's a couple of techniques you could do, okay? Not everyone does traditional kinds of meditation. You could do a walking meditation, okay? So you put your hands behind your back. You just walk in the park. Okay, you can do even, I people go into meditative states even from exercise, okay? So it just depends on you. Like I've, I've ran into people that literally will tell me they could go in the zone when they're running on the, on the treadmill, okay? So just because the word meditation is there, everyone does things in different ways and everyone connects in different ways, okay? And we're all different. So you have to find that way that's better for you. Also, you can do drawing creative things, okay? And whenever I draw, like, I don't know, if, if you guys are painters, drawlers, creative writers, you know what I'm talking about. It cuts you into that zone. That zone is what you want. You want that place where you're just like, you're just letting it, I mean, it's not the same as when you're writing a paper for college, of course, but when you're doing creative writing, creative drawing, and you're just letting your intuition kind of run away with itself, then you're not focused in on anything. And then you're getting into that zone because it's about getting that focus. One time I literally was, no joke, I was on a test. I was in college on the test, a math test. And I literally was like, got so laser focused on this darn test. And some of you guys are like, what? I was a math major in college, okay? I was computer science and then I also did accounting. So, and, I, and sometimes you guys will come up to me in the comments about the titles, I'm like, Girl, I'm, 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 I'm a, I was a math major. Like, well, if you, you guys can need to help me with these titles anyway. Um, yes, I got so laser focused. Like, it literally put me into this place where I literally, like, my consciousness went forward. And I was just like, it was an amazing spiritual experience, but that's what happens when you get so laser focused. And that's the, that's really, truly getting into the zone there is getting into the zone because like just sitting there and contemplating and contemplating and contemplating and there are a lot of people out here they've been meditating for years but they just enjoy that relaxation of that contemplation but real real profound uh, leaps are when you get into that concentration zone so there is two forms of meditation and one is learning how to become to the point where you concentrate your mind and then that the focus there and then the relaxation will bring it together as two things in one which will bring more profound meditation for you so if you guys are wondering about what that is about you can do mantras okay or you can do just just prayers but you want to get yourself in that zone first so that you can be focused and that can, you can be relaxed enough so that you can go into the zone. But there's many ways to do that, okay? So definitely look into those things this month. All right, my beautiful Tauruses, I love you guys so much. If you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. I'll see you guys another day or two. Have a great rest of your next couple days, and I will see you guys soon congratulations on the jackpot reading for you guys this month love you guys so much and i will see you guys soon